Hey guys, I'm back. We're talking about carbon fiber PLA from Arion. We've reviewed a lot of Arion filaments in the past and they make really nice stuff. So let's see how the carbon fiber holds up. I use the entire spool as you can see here, but carbon fiber can be kind of tricky to print with. So let me give you some tips on how to succeed with Arion carbon fiber. You ready? Let's do this. Hey, welcome back. Well, first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Paul, and this is my channel where nerdy is cool. I'm huge into 3D printing. I, I, it's become my full-time job now. Uh, I'm big into cosplay. I've got an R2-D2. I've, I've got a Stormtrooper suit. I've got a Batman suit. I have 23 3D printers working all kinds of fun projects. So welcome aboard. If you've never seen my stuff before, hit the button down below and become a subscriber. Now, before someone posts some cheeky comment saying the video starts here, let's move on. So uh, yeah, I've completely used up this roll of Arion carbon fiber PLA. And uh, as I mentioned, uh, this was sent to me by Arion and um, I used it all. And I have all kinds of cool prints here. Uh, I also have the nice little uh, photo booth. So I've taken all kinds of nice close-ups for you. Um, it is so black and matte. Uh, I really had to go into the uh, uh, various settings on the ISO of my camera to get some really good pictures of this. But let's start with the basics. So first of all, if you've never used a carbon fiber filament, say that five times fast, uh, the first thing you need to be aware of is this stuff is very abrasive. Meaning if you run this through your brass nozzle, say on a 0.4 nozzle, uh, if you run this roll, you will no longer have a 0.4 nozzle. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you are using a hardened nozzle when you're dealing with abrasive materials. The one that I used on my particular test, uh, test machine is I use the E3D Nozzle X. I used a 0.6 nozzle. Uh, I like the 0.6 nozzle because you can do 0.4 detail, but you can also get some thicker walls so some prints can be printed faster. Um, and first, I, the other thing I want to mention is, like any other filament, you need to calibrate it. I know people just think that 3D printers and filament are just set it and forget it. Not at all. So what you want to do, and there's a lot of really good tutorials out there, is once you get this loaded up, you want to do a temperature tower and find out on your machine what the best temperatures are to print this. Now on mine, I found after doing the temperature tower that 200 was perfect. My first layer I did at 205, and of course the bed temperature for PLA I kept at 60 degrees. And I have all kinds of cool prints. Uh, after I did a uh, flow cube to make sure I had the exact right slicer flow settings, and again, tutorials will help with this, uh, I started off with, of course, the traditional Benchy. And uh, in the close-ups you'll see here, uh, the Benchy looks absolutely amazing. Uh, the, the matte finish, uh, just the way that the overhangs all work, are really, really great. Now this carbon fiber uh, PLA, the carbon fiber count on this is 20%. Um, the nice thing that you're gonna get with carbon fiber is you're gonna get a stiffer part. Uh, expect, you know, cause on X and Y, you're not gonna see any real difference as far as if you, you know, bend it in half and go to break it because, you know, that's our weakness with 3D printing. You know, it's the Z axis that gets us. So yeah, if you're looking to get some really nice results uh, with this uh, black matte finish, this material is really excellent. The other thing I want to uh, point out is handling because carbon fiber, you know, does have those carbon fiber pieces in there. So uh, one of the things I would recommend if you're handling this is like what I'm going to do is after handling all these, I'm going to wash my hands. So another thing to keep in mind. Moving on. So the next thing that I took a whole bunch of pictures of is I've been working on my Iron Man Mark III project. So I'm going to show you a lot of parts and pieces from that. One of the pieces I have here on display, this is one of the elbow pieces that goes to my Iron Man suit. And you can see that it's done a really great job. Some of these pieces, you know, very rarely on a, on a especially on armor, do you find any straight edges. So the Arion filament did a really good job as far as being able to handle the overhangs. It did a really good job with the supports. And uh, this piece came out really, really good. Moving on to the next one, I wanted to show off how the supports looked. So this is a picture of uh, one of the hand pieces. This in particular uh, comes from a gentleman uh, on Etsy, uh, Walsh 3D. And uh, the, this is what uh, the front, uh, the palm part of the Iron Man hand looks like. And of course, with all that support material still attached. And uh, 
uh, going through. Of course, the tree settings are really, really nice. Uh, it takes a little bit of finesse to get them just right, but uh, uh, it comes off very nicely and very easily. Let's move on to some of the bigger pieces and trickier pieces. Now, this part here, this is one of the armpit pieces. So this is what's gonna go, you know, under and through uh, on the, uh, in, in the suit. And I have one spot where I didn't quite get my uh, uh, support just right, but the rest of the print looks really nice. And again, that matte finish is just really, really, oh, I just love it. <laughs> the next piece, this is the jaw piece uh, to, the, uh, to the suit. And you can see here, again, the layer lines are just invisible. You don't see them. Uh, as I turn this thing around, you're gonna see one spot at the top where I've got some strings coming off here. I didn't quite get my support structure just right, so uh, this will be a redo. I, I thought maybe I could save it with some sanding and some putty, but that won't be the case. Um, speaking of sanding, if you're going to use this in post-process pieces, again, as with the carbon fiber hazard, uh, make sure that when you sand this stuff that you're wearing a mask, you're, you're, you're covering your eyes and such. So again, more safety tips from Paul. Finally, the coolest print I did, and of course, is the Iron Man faceplate. Now, of course, the front, you know, you're, you're used to this. But what's really, really amazing about this print is the amount of detail that the Walsh 3D has done to the inside of this. And you'll see in the light box photos that it's, I, I'm trying not to use the same words of amazing, fantastic, and cool, but this looks slick. So the verdict is, like all the Arion filaments I've tested to date, this stuff's really great. It's easy to use as long as you take the precautions of using a hardened nozzle and do the proper steps of, like you should do with all your materials, calibrating. It's very easy to print. I Overhangs and support material came out quite good. And yeah, I mean, go get yourself some. You can get it directly from Arion, or you can also get it through the Amazon store. Uh, right now, I'm just looking at the computer. It's selling for $24.99 for a one kilogram spool. So that's an excellent price for PLA because right now it seems like all the prices are going up, up, up. Okay, that's it for this time. I invite you to keep an eye on me on social media. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter. Check out what I'm doing. I post stuff all the time. I do a lot of YouTube shorts because that's where the algorithm is lately. So definitely keep an eye on those sites. If you want to see what I'm working on in the background, you can see that I've got C-3PO, I've got Iron Man going on. So definitely stay in touch. Thanks for watching. Remember to print safe and this is where nerdy is cool.